Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm making a custom spread for my patron Jenny. I am going to make a birthday spread. It's her birthday in, next month. And she requested for me to use the exclusive sticker sheets from, from my Patreon this month, which currently is available if you want to join. Uh, you do get this digital download, plus I do send a physical sticker sheet set. Um, for you to enjoy actually i'm doing some boxes like colorful boxes that's not in the digital download i like to include something extra on the side um but i do include three sheets of stickers that i mail out to each of the big and up patrons over on patreon so thank you jenny again for being an awesome patron this month i'm excited to make this spread for you especially since it's your birthday um she requested a horizontal spread uh, she uses this as a journaling spread, which is really nice because I used to use this for journaling and so it gets me to Decorate a horizontal spread the same way that I used to in the past But um, at least like I'm not wasting a spread and she gets to enjoy um, To have a nice spread a nice horizontal spread. So um, I already pulled some paper I, I decided I want to do like some waves. I really like this paper because it reminds me of like a party I kind of want to use this maybe like washi on the spread and um, mix them with these cute little whales that my sister drew up um, for our Patreon. Got some balloons. Just make it like very birthday. She said her birthday's the 21st, so I'm going to kind of focus some little clusters um, around the spread of the cute whales. So, and well, it's not just whales. There's dolphins and beluga and you know different ones on here <laughs> they're really cute um so i'm going to all right so i kind of already did I, I always try to pre figure out like what i'm gonna do when it comes to the patreon spreads uh since you know they're supporting me over there and, I, and they get these custom spreads for me i want to take my time to figure it out so i already started like kind of piecing it together um, I'm going to use these new tear guides, which I have a video on how I like these. I definitely check that out. Uh, but I got these from Joanne. They have like three different sets of these different thing, different patterns that you can rip. I feel like ripping paper. There's different patterns. Um, I'm going to go with this one because it just reminds me of like a wave or like the ocean. So I'm gonna use these. I already started cutting out some pieces right here using the tear guides. Um, this is the smaller wave side over here. Um, I already started cutting out some little washi strips out of the this pretty pattern. I got these papers from Hobby Lobby. Um, they weren't on sale this week, so they were kind of expensive for a piece of paper, but not too bad. Um, I believe these were 69 cents and then these were 60 cents, but honestly, I get a good amount of use out of them because I'm only using like little strips. So I feel like this goes a long way, which is why I like using scrapbook paper in my spreads. Um, but I want to possibly use this like washi. We'll see. Maybe layer these like together. I don't know. I, I kind of figured it out, but then I, I'm not sure yet if this is. Actually, I do like that because it's that fun little pattern. It just, it just reminds me of birthday. Um, so I have some of these like already on some waves. I think I want to layer them on top of each other. I actually need to cut. I want to cut these off first, like cut them down to size. Uh, so let me get a pencil. Okay. And I'm just going to make a couple of cut marks or... Er, marks so that way I can cut this down to size and it'll fit on this side. Just get a paper trimmer. Okay, and this one. good so I plan on probably taping all this down actually I'm probably gonna glue this because it's kind of thin and then I'll tape this down so let me get some glue I'm gonna glue off camera because I have this little mat I don't mind getting glue on 
And then I'm gonna put this down first. That. And then I will put this on top. And then I have this, which I wanna put, oh, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm gonna do it this way. So I'm gonna put this here. I think I wanna put them here. So I'm going to do a couple marks over here too, so I can cut this down. Okay. Lots of cutting in this one, but I'll probably do a lot of the cutting off camera, but I want to show you how I'm layering these first before I move on to the other ones. Because I'm going to layer two papers on top of each other. But like a different kind of effect on the page. Okay, so I'm gonna put some tape on this back here. And then I'm gonna put this, actually I need to figure out where this is gonna go. So this is gonna go here, and then this is gonna go on top. Okay, I'm just gonna put it, oops. Oh my goodness. Here and then I put this on top because I kind of want to cover it up just a little bit. And again, it gives it like a little bit of a wave look in two like two levels of the waves. It's basically the look I'm going for, and I think that looks super cute. So tape. I think I'm gonna glue this down actually on the corners because sometimes it lifts when I do this with just tape. Oh my gosh, I cut this too short. How did that happen? Okay. Wow, I really cut it short. Okay, I have to redo this sheet right here. Oh, maybe I, I grabbed the wrong one. Mm, yeah, I did. Okay, so this is the correct one. I don't know where I got that piece from. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. should have done this on my mat because I don't like I always get that sticky stuff everywhere all right so this is gonna go here on top and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on these corners just to hold them down because I never get the tape all the way on the corners I'm really bad about like putting tape all the way at the end but I feel like a little bit of glue on the corners doesn't mess up the paper because when I glue everything down like these bigger pieces it gets like really kind of warped looking and I don't like that look okay cool so I also have some balloons that I'm gonna add and I have some confetti so I'm gonna kind of layer some of these together oops I think I'm gonna do one more with him. A dark color. That. Okay, and I'm gonna put this I'm trying to figure out like where I wanna put this though. Hmm. I guess I'll just put it like this and then cut off this part. Okay, I'm gonna cut off these little edges. Like that. So he kind of has some balloons hanging off of his back. I think it's cute. And then I have these little like confetti pieces too. Kind of want to sprinkle those around the spread. Okay. 
All right, so I got the first little bit down. I think that looks really cute. I love that little scene. So that is done for that one. I do have this little like life preserver with the cake. Let me cut this down. Let me cut this. Put it hanging out right there in the water. I probably should have um I think I made that outline it's a little too thick, but that's okay. I'm gonna just cut it down a little bit. I always worry like on the cricket it's so finicky that I don't wanna like um cut it like make super thin outlines. But I'll just cut around it. No biggie. All right. All right, so that's hanging out there. That looks cute. All right, I like that. I'm gonna add in some boxes. I think I'm just gonna grab one of JoJo's books. She has a summer book. I feel like this is nice, bright colors in here. So I'm gonna do, I mean, I have this teal. I can use like, I don't know, a bunch of different colors. I kinda wanna go with, like a yellow would be nice. This yellow. Hmm, I'm not sure about that yellow, it's kinda gold. Let's see. Let's see this yellow. Okay, these colors are nice. Okay. Let's see about adding this. So she does journal in here, I like having these journaling type stickers you can put like like what you did over the weekend right here that's usually how I use this spread when I did journaling in it I wonder if I should add this color let's see like a pink. I'll do yellow, this teal, and pink. That'd be good. Although pink, it's always hard for me to track down. Oh, I have a pink sticker. I forgot. Jojo sent me her pink one. If I can find it. Ah, here it is. Okay. Alright, so I got all the pink boxes in here. I don't want a square. Yeah, like this size. I kind of like having the scene on the bottom. But then I'll cover up this day a lot. Hmm. I'm trying to decide how I'm gonna add the other um Little guys, I have this one. Once I put them, <laughs> I could do one guy here, and then like a box here, so it'll be functional because then she can use it on Thursday. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I kind of want to add some more. <laughs> Trying to decide what I'm gonna do. Let's see, I have these. 
Oh, I can't fit that there. I could add one more over here. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cut him down. Just so I can fit him on the page. I ended up flipping these around so I could fit this cute little beluga. That one's my sister's favorite. Um, on the page. So it's kind of like they're having a little party over here. At least that's what I'm going to go with. On this little corner side. Alright, so I'm going to cut this off. This part here. Yeah, I feel like I should put like the same type of little scene. Like, pull it over here. And then I'll just make sure to add a box. So that way she can write around this spread a little bit for that day. Um, I think I want to do one more little confetti piece there. And then I'll decorate a little bit more up here, but I'm going to keep the whales, the little sea animals, like, on the bottom. So basically I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take one of these, layer this here, and then do... I feel like I should do this one because this is happy birthday and then I can do a box and then maybe I can do the beluga, I mean not the beluga, the narwhal guy like up to the side a bit over here on her birthday just so I have like a few scattered around the spread a bit. All right, so I got the first little wave piece down. I'm just trying to figure out like how I'm going to layer these and make it all fit. So that's the fun part. So let's see if I do this here. I'm going to cover up a lot of the wave. Oh well, it should be fine. Okay, and then I'm going to do, I'm not pushing it down all the way yet because I'm still trying to figure it out. If I put this here, Gives a spot to write in. Okay. I cut this piece. I'm gonna have to cut this down a bit because it is way too big. I'm gonna cut this guy down. I'm gonna cut this too. Okay. I think I like this here. Let me put this down. I actually need to cut it down first. Just a little bit. Actually, let me trim this first. way too this always makes me nervous to do this oh it's gonna be so crooked you know what I'm just gonna cut with my scissors actually I think actually we'll lower this a little bit Okay, I think this is actually the perfect size. Okay, I'm going to put it like that. Alright, and then I'm going to tape this down. Tape. I run out of tape. I ran out of tape. Okay, perfect. This was the last piece of scrapbook paper I was going to put. I have no more tape. I need to order some more tape. Alright, so at least I got the happy birthday. And then I got this guy. I want to put over here. I could put.
put a number in there. Let me see, actually, do I have a number in here? Oh, these are kind of big. I'm pretty sure I could find a number to fit in there. Okay, but for now, at least that looks super cute. I love that. I'm gonna probably tape more of this washi type stuff up on the top, just to match. But I'm done with the little scenes. I think they look super cute. Um, let me. I feel bad though because I, I did my monthly spread using these stickers, and for some reason, I mean, I didn't use the dolphin. Like I love dolphins, so it's not anything against them. But I didn't use a dolphin in that spread. And then in this one, I didn't use a dolphin in this one. I don't know why that always keeps happening. For whatever reason, it keeps happening. I'm sorry. Little dolphin. <laughs> I have to use him in something. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do a currently page. So I'll probably use him in the currently page. When I do my memory keeping, that's what I will put the dolphin. <laughs> He's so cute, too. Like... I don't know what's going on with me about that dolphin. All right, I'm gonna add some of these little like pieces to around the spread. I put like little confetti pieces. Just kind of group them together. And I'm just gonna add them around some of these. I feel like I need to move this. Maybe over here. Okay, I'm going to, um, I need to put this first actually. Uh, I'm going to add another piece over here on this side too. Let me cut this first. It dries completely and I can't take it off. Alright, cool. Ah. And then, one more piece over here. Yeah, if you find like a nice patterned washi, definitely think like out different ways that you can incorporate it into your spread. I think I did a video recently. I've been doing like a tip of day video, which has been like really nice. People are enjoying it. Oh, this one too short. Um, but I think I did one where I showed how to use scrapbook paper. A spread so definitely nice patterns that have like um that are more concentrated like this will make nice washi you get a good amount of the pattern in little strips on the spread okay so i'm gonna add in some more boxes because i figured this box jenny could use it for her birthday like to, since i covered up all this space to journal but then um i'm gonna add another box so that'll be like more wednesday i mean she could always write in here and here so i'm gonna grab these colors okay so I'm gonna grab this one and do a smaller box to layer mm, actually I think I want a square do I have squares nope okay so I have to do this size and I can do here I'm gonna do a yellow box because I want to tie in that yellow over here so that's from the pastel boxes. So let's see, I'm gonna grab I don't like that this is too similar. Okay, so I'm gonna do it this way. Let's see, I'll do it this way, just so it's a little different. And then I can do another box layered. I'm going to do a few more boxes around this spread too. Like some of these, some of these small ones. Just like scatter some color around the spread. Oops. Jeez, this I don't like the paper on this, on this planner. It always rips on me, but Okay. okay, I'm gonna do, I 
do yellow. Oh my gosh. Can't put anything down straight today. Okay, so that. I think I want pink for over here. I have a pink box. I have the pink book boxes. Alright, so I'm gonna go find. I feel like I have a good amount of boxes. I like the colors around this spread. I just need to find some like different accent, like quotes and decorative stickers that I can add around the spread. Okay, so I found some stickers and some books that I think I might try to add in here. I don't know, I like this quote, but I don't know if it works in this spread since I don't really have a lot of black on here. But I like these little things that I found. So I found this one, it says Rock This Day. It's similar to the color that I have on this spread. So I'm gonna do that. I like this little this. I like to add like little things like that. On some corners. Um, this one says I celebrate today. So I figured that would be, actually it should go down more over here. Mm. Maybe I should put a box here. Where do I put a box? Okay, I'm gonna go with that. Um this one says I am beautiful. I just like I have these little inspirational little nice quotes to read around the spread. Um, I have another little this. I feel like this doesn't really match. No. I don't think that one matches. I'm going to go with one of my favorite sticker books to find quotes in because I love these long quotes. I need to make some quotes like this because I don't have very many left, but these are just like really nice. Okay, so I have this one that says you've got this girl. Maybe I'll stick this over here. Is that the right pink? I do have this one. This is just breathe. Stick that there. Um, I have this one. I should stick this one. I feel like this color matches better. I'll stick back these little quotes on the spread too. I have that one, and then I have this one that says, I am kind. I don't think I could put that one. Okay. I think I might just add in some bullet points, and then I will be done. I have these, but I don't. I feel like this blue color is good, but I'm not a fan of the other colors. So I'm just gonna add a couple of these around this spread. I got a lot of blue, but I don't know. Reminds me of the ocean, so. Well, it's like a blue green. I think that should be good. All right. Yeah, looks really cute. All right, I love it. So cute. So Jenny, I hope you enjoy this spread for your birthday. Um, it's 
so excited that you asked for the exclusive sticker sheets in a spread and i can't wait to see how you use this in your planner uh, I, hope you, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of my videos please hit that subscribe button and i hope to see you all in the next one